Hi ho, Coonsers. It's me, Joe Valentina. And in this video, I will be continuing on my, uh, my discussion of the Mega series, Dragon Ball. Because I love it. It's very funny. And it's very, very good. Right now, the, this is the, this is the, uh, the manga, I guess, chapters, whatever you want to call it. Three, the block, I'm sorry, block, five, and six. That'd be, um, in this, the, in the, um, the, um, the saga, I guess you could say, of the, of the uh, kingdom, of the world, of the throne under the heavens, kind of, in which Goku and company being outside, crawling, and the like, had to fight each other, who wins the, the grand prize. I think it's Webbing and Zenny. I don't know, I know if Zenny, uh, I know if Zenny can come in for, um, the equivalent of the DVD, you know, version of, um, of, uh, yen, or dollars, or euros, whatever. Don't even think of it. Euros wasn't even invented back then, so, uh, yen, yen, or, uh, or dollars. <clears throat> anyway, this is pretty funny. And in this thing, so there are a few little um, I don't know, um, questionable creatures that occur to Lama me when you create some of the days. Characters. The one first and foremost is the character of Namu. Now, I, I just think he calls this, and I just think this, this the Japanese culture, among other things, too. But, um, there's a point to be made that during the Dungeon Tournament saga, a so Namu in a sport a some port in Indian village. And when I say Indian I mean like from India. Indian. Or as I would say Native American. Now, um this is all fun good and stuff. But then he uses the same idea that he's trying that the main that the character question is trying to get money to afford water for each of his village in India. Now, in this one, in this, in this story, it's a good because they portray him as a, a uh, honorable warrior and all of that. But, the Kurama recycled the idea when the character of Oob comes into play. Now Oob is the reincarnation of Majin Buu. Which in itself, his copy is the reincarnation of the uh, Uma's outfit from the previous series of manga where he was on. Where he dressed like a genie from a human genie. And they carry over the Buu. But anyway, um, when they, when they have Oob there, they dress Oob like um, a poor man. And he, he, uh, he, he's very much Indian in origin and nationality. So when they show him, um, and he shows up in his village, it looks like a special Indian poor man's village. I don't like this. Because it's a different idea, it's the 
zu Ingsbürgheit. Zur Gumbuke. Ich glaube, das Selbstkritik ist ein Gewinn für die Union Dose, oder wie der der Oval war. Nicht so fett und gut. Nicht so nur so hart und man Make him like any other dude, but you know, like monkey green ears and so on and so forth. And also, he does the same thing with Mr. Popo, which is, um, basically like a, like a, a certain, but a, a black man, what we call a black man, and, um, you know, but mentally that poor uh, Japanese grammar, if you will. There's that. Also, um, in this, when Goku fights the character of, of Giren, Giren, he's just like a, um, Giren does like a immobilizing move where he sits up the dog. Sits up the gun. A um, a good a tube from his mouth to me, like a he constricts Goku into not being to get beating it and almost being ringed out by him. Saved only by his his one nimbus, where in this. Version in thought that we got to pronounce it. But, um, that is that's really quite good because, um, that that's just his resourcefulness. I also like the fact that they argue with the dog. But the dog, um, judges about the legality of the kick. Guns versus using the yeah, gum move. Now, there's another that one for you as a bullshit the something move because the bubble gum move, whatever you want to call it, the the urine move, the urine does, is almost exactly the same thing that Madi Boo does. And he probably deep mind in Vegeta with it. So he's got to kind of buy him and fix him. And then beat him up and blow it down. When it's like the Goom Vegeta type thing. But there's that. There's also like none of it being unfair. None of it sometimes it can't fight back. But whereas it, with the Vegeta, he's Getting beaten just on the ground, whereas the cuckoo has better be being thrown out of a uh, fighting ring. So, there's that. Now, um, I don't know where it's in the book here, but, um, uh, oh, I guess the book took a quick call from here. Anyway, uh, I can't find it right now, which is a wonderful shot where uh, Kuyama shows um, Goku in comparison with his legendary uh, counterpart in Oik and 
and um, and um, not always been it's um, inspiration. The beat of Wukong, what the story of a going to the West. And that's a good, that's a good thing to stick to the song that's what I can think of that originally. And then I grew up in the alien and the spell of the whole life. That was good for me. Also, something to thought of is the commentator guy is supposed to be American by, by, uh, by nationality, by origin. Because it looks like that, you know, to find that it's from American population. There's some money to do. But, um, <clears throat> then I also like the, the fact that they show Jeff John with his master Oshi playing with all his disciples. And it's really quite something that they do in doing everything. You know, you know, it's a little, um, the most important, it's like, not really, not really giving at all, and, um, the, the other guys with, like, one hand or something like that, or one foot, or whatever, but with Goku, Goku's a bit of a handful, and he puts everything he's got in there to fight the guy, to fight the little kid, to the point that it's some of the family in the end. Well, not really skinny, but he ends up looking at the balloon because it took so long, and the balloon transforms it into a great bizarre form, which is like 10 to multiply his power. And then he reach havoc in the, in the ring to which Master Roshi thinks to himself, How can I, how can I take him out? Where I, I him because he knows that Goku is not in the mind and he's being controlled by something else other than himself. So he decides to rule the moon. Now I should point out that when he rules the moon, he, there's no repercussion, there's no like you call with problems with no orbit uh, problems, you know. Like late issues, they went just at the moon's clock now. That's it. That's the moon's I of the picture. That could be a problem, a big problem for most people. Some of the people who watch Song of the Hedgehog are fans of those games, like me. But, um, yeah, there's that. And, I like the I like when he when he gets a pant ring out, Uncle gets some pant ring out. And he does like a and Roshi sticks his foot into the side of the arena. He just barely catch himself before I can put ring out to make that new power. That's very real awesome. And uh, I, I love it. I, I didn't see this in the, in the cartoon yet, but um, when he is um, when Goku like the um, uh, when Roshi does like the dr drunken monkey style, not attack is drunk. <laughs> Goku is mimicking everything he's doing, and um, <clears throat> Roshi like you know can't imitate being drunk. You haven't been drunk yet in your lifetime. I mean, but what he does is he imitates being drunk and attacking him, which is real, like, martial arts style. So, what the cook we do, he does like a mad dog attack, mad dog style, in which he attacks like a mad dog, like all four of those spots. Complete with the tail, too. And, um, yeah, it's pretty effective. Oh, by the way, I should point out that, um, when Roshi rules the moon, Goku reverts back to his, his self. But, 
he killed everything, even his own little dead wall. Which I think it's since in the main cartoon, but I don't know. I'm not a so I'm not even playing part of it. But yeah, I'm um, a little bit Also, when I said, um, when they killed Roshi, uh, when they killed uh, Namu in his one of his fights, they killed him playing with Grand Fan. Now, Grand Fan is interesting because he is a woman fighter, but tends to, um, looking for it. She tends to, uh, not her, uh, her, uh, body does do the break for her. In other words, when the woman actually fights, Bungo fights, it tends to, uh, be, um, you know, I know what I'm wrong. So, Namu being an uh, honorable warrior, that doesn't mean that my dad could have been in the mind for to uh, take the wire for his book. This is a very helpful book to do. And Jackie Chan get paid that slowly. Could you find that in me? Because, you know, I'll give you a So, I'm going to keep up with the You can bring your, your dog. Which is a bit interesting question. If Roshi were to give him a capsule full of water, wouldn't that water be stale by the time it got to the time? Jack Bart to his village, what, open it up or whatever, or pop the capsule. That's a good interesting point that I was talking about. You know, I wouldn't be put into the and like refrigerator and then the refrigerator is up into whatever, whatever, um, whatever the food is in it, but it is so fresh. The, the, the miniaturization part of it, it's a flavor and taste. Excellent, so I'm brought up again. So then we come to the famous Red, red Ribbon Army, which, if anyone doesn't know, Red Ribbon Army is, it's, not, it's a uh, pretty version of your bold. Yeah, that, that's right. Not, not a few. But in this one, they do it more as like a joke to fake. Well, not really a joke, more but version of that. But but not uh, no luck matter at all. And the poor season that what they stand for is all board here to get a whole lot of stuff. So but in in this one they need to come to that real um the tap like go goes go through them like water. And it's like don't believe that they're Nazis. One guy that introduced in the real part is in the Senate, why probably in the next section, which I'm reading right now, I'm not sure if we've done any general blue. He used the template Mark Snell and Jim Cox. And, um, other little dimming words to dream creators. So, yeah, the famous Nazis. And they run by, um, Linda Red, which is an Irish little guy, but yeah, hi. But, that's the second point. On a side note, the Irish are like the way like one of the ways people in, in the world. So I think of that the way you will. But there are, you know, it doesn't seem to be uh, 
ruled by uh, race, race, uh, racism because there is uh, there are black guys in the uh, red game now I mean as well as animals too I don't know where they go go in the square but come here the deal cross the earth you know blue I just black and um Sergeant Major Bubble. And then he had two fuck mandrakes too. Which I I up the in red web the two uh some of the ugly uh that was was that the human uh, that was the robot and all that, but the cyborg it more the 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 doing machine hybrid that looked like a machine. But I guess it's reversed or something like that. So, um, we are introduced to the Mugs Tower and Major Mentalism. Now, I love Major Mentalism here because his equipment is not uh, just unstoppable for what? And he's big and bad. My heart comes all along with in the coming in movie. No, I like him in this because he's pretty much unstoppable for young girls who and so now he's probably yeah, he used to be because he's changer and stuff but still back then he was um, unstoppable so good. The only reason why he did stop was because the only reason his power went out is they died. And one thing I'd say, I would love it when characters do a uh, laser from the mouth. Like, um, it, it shows, like, um, internally they're so powerful they can shoot lasers out of the, uh, one of the most sensitive parts of their body. And I even love when they, when they do that and where they, uh, they get so triggered and the, their body ends up being damaged to the point where they can't do that or it made it back they get stopped. So it's kind of like bulls up in the in the literally in the face. But Benjamin Tarkon is like um, a precursor to Android being also a precursor to being Android in that he becomes more of a nice guy, a nice robot. And he doesn't really kill things because he doesn't get bad. I'm not telling him it, but they didn't forget. Well, I suppose it's good that he starts to make bad guys into a good guy and become an ally with them. Although, in the, in the, in the comic book here, and the manga, they refer to Andrew as, as Ape Man. Number Ape Man. Whereas in the, in the cartoon, in the anime, he calls it Air. 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 Whatever. And they also launch, launch, or launch too, which is funny. Toy on my feet, you couldn't draw a yam, a yam, who knows if it's a bit of his head. Anyway, um, you show, um, <clears throat> Angel and Chow Kong gave you the head, and then they show the jiggler. Now, not to be jiggly or anything, but doesn't the word the jiggler kind of remind you of a point in title? Point actress or a point actor who on the level of Rod Jamie. When I said to someone about it, so soon. And um, Goku has to fight the Diggler, and the Diggler is one of the characters who is invincible. He can't, can't be attacked. Just found either 
Tan loco. Al mismo Yeah, then a white. Again, another nod to Nazism. But then they can do this whole target age of purple, which is weird because the first guy who got was Colonel Silver. Now, Colonel in the U.S. Army. Well, higher than a sergeant major. And for them all, the guy is Japanese. He's a ninja. And he's Japanese. So, ninja goes for the real, that bad, uh, that guy's Japanese. So, whereas the, uh, the samurai is for the real, the good warriors. So, well, guess what? I'm a white. What do you mean? Yeah. 
Lulua Titan in the uh, in the Red Ribbon Army. The Japanese man, a mighty and make a quick dirty and stuff. Kind of stupid. But, uh, I guess, I guess it's kind of weird. It's his own personal preference. Also, as the blog they put as. The next thing that makes them down below all that would be if they would be very familiar with your own culture and and on black people. Thinking with big big old cute but not only that not only that but when they, when Goku actually fights this guy, Goku makes a joke at him. I mean, really, when, when, uh, he does that thing where he, where he jumps up and he strikes the, the cook from the air, keeps the, the power pole, and so the, the sugar right up his cook, very big cook up. It's really funny. It's really funny in the cartoon version that, just to the point, and then you hold that way. Now, I have to ask you, would Goku, would Master eat a day next time in the, in the, no, in the, um, in Chinese, would it be like, the little jacket can, would he be able to, um, uh, I mean, would, would, would he be able to become so Jamaica for him? Even with his other son, even with his other son, who are identical, identical brothers, no, <laughs> would they be considered Sergeant Major Pulse or Sergeant Major Pulse that locked their one, two, three, and four, five? Now that something is so questionable. Uh, So, um, if the show has been a coward, all of it, that reminds me, uh, I like when, uh, when Jack Chan uses the mold blood move on Goku, and, um, <clears throat> that's where he gets, he gets a become a great pelican jump at the moon, turn them up, lost the moon. <clears throat> It's funny that no one can figure out who Jackie Chan is, but Namu and um, Yamcha. The thing Yamcha is, you know, Jackie because he, yeah, he wears the dust, but Namu wears the ghost glasses and the, the beard and the, um, the hat, the hair sits on that, I don't think it's too cold, but whatever. They show that um Goku is pretty much bulletproof at this point. It's weird because in, in the other episodes, they show that Goku can be hurt and killed. I don't know. I don't know why that matters. They do because it's the uh, bullet and bullet help us power them to punch them with this. And, and the blast with the, the next. Maybe the gun. Yeah, the engine is general white, and I mean general blue in the next. He was weird. He's been the boomer. Yes, Master Roshi is a pervert. The trick of literally getting get to a um, boomer pants. But since now, 
point and go into the bathroom. This is it from the rip. Someone brought it to the pirate player and then they found it and they made it into a, a real game. So I would think that I would think that it makes more sense that they found it when it was dried with and then they brought it to the layer. But 
and where to do the whole thing. I don't want to be a loser in this one, but they just want to say that um, Nick Del Blue is definitely not a type of diploma, even though Boomer's major and sister booty and curse for him. It has a very insane reaction. So. Oh no, a woman, oh, get away from me. But then when she said that she's gay, she would go open for that. The guy that talks talk and he ends up that he's um I mean takes two roots to scoop can we mount one punch. Kinda like one punch, but kinda like one punch in a way. And so did he. Boma is very, um, very brave and very positive, almost a waiter, until, um, until the big talk one night. And he, who go? Okay. I'm going to warning you to get that. I tell you, then we won't see it, but. There you go. They have to show um, how to greet Boomer's father as being, as being the most clever that has to look at. Because in here, they show a panel of um, women in their own speech, if you will. It's a real pretty boy. Yeah. With boobs and ass. Even 
even better than they joke. The, the artist says, I didn't want to draw it. Like, I really didn't want to draw it. Like that. But, no matter what, I really didn't want to do this. But, um, I'm at some point. I don't want to do that. It's that. With the future class. So, yeah. It's just really awesome. I can't wait to finish the rest of it. I can't wait to finish the Dragon Ball. I can't wait to see the cartoon. I can't wait to see Major Ben Tom Khan. I don't remember that is, but in the end of it, it's too. It's a little speech. And yeah, that was a little fun. Also, I like the way uh, they're trying to dress like traditional Chinese guy in this, in this one, in this anime. Oh my god. That's good. The best treatment I'm doing is in Chinese, but it's kind of like a beautiful man. The way the jokes are strange. The way everyone always people, everyone always denies it. Put it down. Yeah, I'm good looking at that couple. So, yeah. And I like the way you show up. Um, you know, Blue has been like a master. Physically. In terms of Goku, it's better than any of the best. He, he got a good out of Blue. So, thank you for watching this. Video on the video maker chapter four, five, and six in Dragon Ball. Um, if you have any suggestions, I'm uh, Nelson Cole on Twitter. Like, you can email me at jdgreenhill at gmail.com, or you can always call me. Call me or text me on my phone number is 631 707 3707. So, I'll be there to you. Have a good day.